so where i can check my stock you know immediately is a, you know the reflection you know you need to see the stock over always go to the monitor see the stock is updated always go to stock and bin even i can go for a handling in it okay even always stock overview even stock overview based on the product i can see whether is a, if it is a deco one product or like you know i i can put multiple product same time one this is someone has done it so these are the two products and i can run through this one i can always check this one one is right this one is right okay one second. i'm trying to bring my all uh, all related products so i need not to even remember all so if i know starting number and of using star you know i can get all the stock okay so you can always see a recent one you can always see by product by date you know you can always try to see now it has become a stock type am right so if you see physical stock okay the two handling units you have seen uh, sir 20 sorry yeah, sir this one One is a seven and the two. I think. What is the twenty? Just a minute. Twenty-nine. Sorry, wide aisle and one is a wide aisle. As you know, that one is wide aisle pick face. This one, twenty-nine. Another one is this. both stock i can see 29 and 15 quantity and f2 stock this f2 stock means is available for sale okay until confirmation you know the stock type will be f1 stock that is called receiving and dock we will discuss what do you mean by f1 stock how you are going to link it in a store in availability groups and how you are going to compare with your storage locations so all these things you know we will, we will discuss more on that but even business guy he can understand if i say that yes this f2 means available for sale is f1 means only it is in the receiving area it's not available for this sale that's it even layman a business guy will understand even if he is not aware of ewm but he will understand oh he think oh f1 means oh receiving an area f2 means oh is available for sale okay that's where you know even business users will understand okay this is a stock you can see but how do i know that my stock is updated in a, in a s4 site as you know that who is going to see in a yes in, in a ewm supervisor he will see that but real time we my sales guy will see this stock because he wanted see he may get order the sales guy cannot access ewm am i right he cannot see this data but where is going to do this one where is going to check stock overview okay always he is going to check in a, a s4 site okay so go back to see using mmbe you can always check the stock overview okay you can always check the deco one even plant you do not just if it's a plant one you can always the stock overview how much stock receiving on the as of now how much stock is is available for sale and whether it is unrestricted blocked stock or on order stock there several options we have we will discuss more on that so this one another best practice even you may do for the mb52 55 another one is 52 okay this also one more very if is a batch manager project am right if you want to know even um, uh, product even uh, sorry mb you want to know even value of the product so that instance uh, that, that in that in that time you know you can always see you know mb52 you can always see how much stock is in the receiving and dock how much the uh, stock is available for, available for sale what is the value if you any batch managed you can see batch okay 
that, that means it depends what transaction S4 guys is going to use. Okay, stop. And also I want to see this at the delivery level, whether deliveries is updated or not, I can always say VL33N. I know that my, my process is completed in a S4 system, my EWM system. My EWM system shows, sorry, my cell layout is, I think it's a default, okay. So my system says, put away completed goods receipt, unloading is completed here. I can see all the, all the status. So same thing, I make sure that my, it should not stuck in the QM, right? What I just said, like some surprises, even you have done it, you have performed everything, but in my S4 side system is not updated the stock. So if it's not updated the stock in S4 system, the sales guys, they cannot create a sales order because always ATP check is there, availability check. So make sure that your delivery is distributed. It's not our job, but sometime, you know, it will be stuck in the queues. I can always check in the, uh, see the document flow, see? The goods receipt happened, and uh, one more is no, the store looking is not happened. Okay, see if you see goods receipt, I can always see the display document style. I can always see what quantity, where. So there are several uh, things I can see here. I can always see even uh, from document flow also in terms of see the financial documents. Okay, if I want to see even all the what is them um, accounts, um, finished goods, and the GRIR even accounts also, okay? Is the one is a plus and positive and negative, it's nullified stuff, okay? So this is like a complete flow, you can see that. And sometime, you know, you may, you may in a real time, you know, right? Stock will it is stuck in the queue. All way to use the SMQ2, you can always check the, based on delivery, you know, sometimes it will stuck on the queues. You can always see using the, Say this one, DLVW, you can always see a double click. You will know that what is the issue. You can always, just one example, user account is not valid. Something, some issues is coming to picture. So you can always, here using monetary, see, I can activate it after correcting. I can block it. I can unlock it. I can immediately lock the delivery without distributing to the EWM side. See, using the queue management, you know, I can, uh, I can see my deliveries, how, this is a barrier, you can say that. This queue is a barrier between the S4 system or ERP system to the EWM system. Sometimes whether deliveries you want to distribute immediately or you want to lock it, you can always lock it. Or sometimes you may get errors. And as I said, sometimes your products may not be maintained at the different storage location. You will get it, financial stock changes, even physical inventory time, you get it some errors. And sometimes, uh, real time, you know, batch issues, sometimes you get a even serial number issues, you may get some issues here, okay? So you will fix from here, then, you know, it will activate the next step, okay? This is the overall, you know, complex inbound process. 